Hello everyone. In my first video, I unboxed my StellarView 80mm scope that I just purchased. And in this video, I want to show you it mounted on the StellarView MG2 mount, which you see here. Uh, this is interesting. When I called Vic at uh, StellarView, um, he said they had discontinued this mount, but they had two left. So I bought one of them and, uh, and here it is. And I just love this. I've used it for a little over a week now with my Fujinon 16x70 binoculars, uh, which mount on this bracket here. Uh, but I just put the Stellar View 80mm ED Acromat on it, and I want to show you that, show you some close-up views and a little bit about the mount. I chose to go with my own uh, choice of tripod, a Seiko wooden surveyor's tripod. A little better dampening than aluminum, heavy, but uh, nice, weighs about 18 pounds. And uh, so here we go. Let me just show you this. Uh, just turn it around so you can see the scope a little better. There it is. Bring it in a little bit. I have the uh, erecting prism on right now. And I'll show you it with the uh, Stellar View um, two-inch diagonal in a moment. This is with the hood um, ex extended fully. Now the um, the mount is is uh, very nice. There, I'll show you here. There are a couple of knobs here and then here, and uh, these levers. If I can find them here, here's one underneath here. When you lock the lever down, there's one in the back for Alt and As. When you lock the lever down, then you can you can move the scope up and down. I don't know if you can see that motion. Turn it sideways a little bit. Most of you know this already and but for those considering a mount like this it's it's very uh, very nice setup. Nice fine control. And when you unlock the levers you can spin it freely. Like so. It's very smooth, very precise, quite easy to track um, objects. So let me just um, take a pause and then uh, I will change this prism. Okay, here we are with the 90 degree prism. in a little bit for you. close-up of the scope. I'll give you a little more of a close-up of the scope. Apologize for that reflection. It's my soft box reflecting off the carbon fiber here's the mount locking levers
Okay, this has been part two. Uh, I hope this uh, helps somebody to see how this uh, telescope and mount work together. Um, I can't uh, tell you how impressed I am with the quality. Um, it's just really, really uh, a workable arrangement uh, compared to anything I've tried so far. Uh, this is so solid and uh, precise. It's, um, it's going to, I'm sure, give me many nights of great pleasure viewing the skies. But of course, the next four or five days are rainy and cloudy. So I'll have to wait just a little bit longer. But um, I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.